Baked cauliflower and broccoli served with tomato and basil soup. Um, hi, I'm making a very simple dish. The sound is going to be off because I can't figure out the mic on my new phone yet. Okay, so just... Uh, um, <clears throat> so I'm making broccoli and cauliflower. And that's it. Okay, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bake it with a little bit of oil, some garlic cloves, some salt and a pinch of paprika. See, here we got all that. There's the garlic, um, the salt, I've taken the whole salt and there's the paprika. And uh, please do click subscribe. Yeah. Subscribe, like. Okay, so I'm going to just add these things, mix it all up and a little bit of, uh, see my friend Hima, shout out to him, he needs to get some more greens in his diet, so this one's for him and uh, it's just a really simple thing, I'm just going to take a cap full of oil, of olive oil and uh, Meanwhile, I've got the oven at the back ticking away, uh, preheating it to about 160 and uh, yeah, a bit of salt. I know the salt uh, sort of softens it, but uh, it just sort of helps in cooking it evenly. Um, so I'm going to pop these uh, garlic cloves. Um, I've made slits in some of them and some of them are anyway slightly crushed. And uh, I'm going to add the paprika, smoked paprika and just mix it all in, pop it into the preheated oven for enough time to get two drinks. Though after one drink I'll come back, mix it up, you know, stir it up so that you know everything gets evenly cooked and the salt gets spread out nice and even and everything. I'm guessing somewhere between 40 and 60 minutes, we'll come back and check. Cheers. Now I've stirred it nicely, mixed it all up so that the oil, paprika, salt, everything is evenly done, right? And um, you know we'll do it again after about 20 minutes. We'll jiggle it around, see it might just need a little bit more oil. Salt we can always add later. I just needed enough to you know cook it right and get it. So the oven is preheated to 160 uh, centigrade um, and uh, for the Fahrenheit uh, people just google the different state of it comes in. Now I'm going to take this uh, and I'm going to pop it in to the oven and uh, I'm going to fill myself a new drink, finish this, that's two sips, finish this, come back, fill it, finish the next drink, come back, 20 minutes roughly, check that everything's okay, flip it all over, come back after another 20 minutes and check. Uh, yeah, so I'm back having finished the dregs of that last drink and a few sips of this one. Um, watching the Bangladeshi girls giving a good fight to England. So, um, right. So what I'm going to do is take this out and oops, you gotta be careful. Yeah, and just sort of shake it around and. Um, Smelling good, a lot of garlic smell coming through. And, uh, and now I'm going to stick it back in for another 20 minutes or so. And uh, yeah, I'll be back and finish this drink and come back. And uh, maybe I might add some oil. It was looking quite dry, so possibly add some oil. I'll be back. And 
like the bad penny i'm back um just finished the old one started the new one so we're sort of another 20 minutes down the line and uh, let's see i think we should be pretty good let's see. let's take a look um no idea another 10 minutes so i have make some inroads into this one and come back cheers okay while i haven't made that many inroads it appears but if you see the colors run out pretty much so that's gone in um, i think we should be ready now it's been approximately 15 minutes since we popped it in Here's the fork. Let's see. Yes, looks perfect. Now, you know, if you want to, instead of paprika, you can use uh, pepper. You can use uh, chili flakes or nothing. It's superb just as it is. You can add a bit of lime or limbu, lime or lemon, sorry. Thora problem. Yeah, so I'm going to have... Uh, finish this while I set up and have this with the soup and also shout out to my friend Arsha who's uh, taught me this one and many more much more most of my cooking in fact cheers